Welcome to the cooking classroom at Eckert's. I'm Angie Eckert and I'll be making herb butter today with fresh herbs. Herb butter is a great way to add flavor to ordinary ingredients like noodles, homegrown corn, steamed vegetables, roasted pork, and more. I'm gonna start with some fresh herbs that I've harvested from our plants here at Eckert's Greenhouses. This is flat leaf parsley. I'm gonna rinse it off in some water, add some fresh cut chives, and also another personal favorite, Italian oregano. And we're just gonna get those nice and rinsed. Okay, that looks good. We're ready to dry them out on some paper towels. I'm gonna roll this up a little bit to just kinda of speed up the drying process. That looks good. Now we're ready to remove them from the stems. Okay, so to remove the herbs from the stems, we just pull back with our fingers uh, and just kind of tear off on the parsley. We're just gonna tip them off and get these all ready to go. Then we're gonna just chop them up finely with a knife. You can also use a kitchen shears here. We're going to add this to our softened butter. This has been softened at room temperature for about two hours. Okay. Now I've got a little bit more of each ingredient, chives, Italian parsley, and the oregano. We want to go for about a half a cup of fresh herbs per one cup of butter. And just stir it up. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to make it creamier and more spreadable. Also add fresh lemon zest at this point if you want to add a little extra zing. Look at all those gorgeous fresh herbs. Mm. Okay, now we're going to put our butter in some parchment paper. You can also use waxed paper. I'm gonna make a little crease here. And our goal is to turn it into a log so that it's easier to use in pieces on your various dishes. Here we go. Kind of uh, adheres itself to the paper, which is really nice. And then um, you can kind of tuck under the ends to keep it together nice and tight. That locks in all the flavors in your refrigerator. Um, and you can store this in the refrigerator for up to a week and use it however you like, or better yet, I like to keep it in a zip tight container in the freezer and use it for up to three months. And then it's awesome to just pull out and serve on your fresh veggies, fresh meats, and more. For more delicious herb recipes, check out the Eckert's Family Spring Cookbook and visit our family's recipe blog at eckertsrecipes.com.